So why is my toilet sweating? Well, it's not for the same reason you might be sweating. So I've got today three simple solutions to that problem, plus a bonus for you. And we'll be back shortly. Welcome back. I'm Kevin with Calca Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, and we're talking about sweaty toilets today. So if your toilet's sweating, I've got three simple solutions and a fourth bonus solution that you're gonna to wanna to stick around and listen to. The reason number one is the water coming into your tank is too cold and it's condensating. So there's moisture in the air and that's what's condensating on the outside of your toilet. So if you just turn on the fan in the bathroom, you're gonna eliminate most of the problem there. The second option is to wipe down the walls after you're done showering, because it's this humidity that's being introduced. Open a window, wipe, wipe down the uh, walls of the shower, and you'll get rid of a lot of the residual moisture in the bathroom, and you won't. You could possibly eliminate the problem or you won't reduce it significantly. Um, the third option is to drain the tank, dry it out, and then insulate it. You can insulate the tank. So if you insulate the tank, uh, the cold water is not going to react with the warm surrounding air and it'll stop the condensation from taking place. The fourth issue, and this is one that is really interesting, when you get really, really cold water, you've been there before where you go to wash your hands and the water is so cold that you have to mix it with hot water. Well, there's a solution to that problem. We could temper the water coming into your water main so that all your cold water never really gets too cold inside the house when you go to wash your hands, etc. And this will pretty much eliminate the problem in the toilet tank because you're, you're raising the temperature of the water in the toilet tanks and all the toilets in the house, in fact. So you get the added benefit throughout the house of having a little bit warmer cold water. And that's, that's mostly important during the winter when the, when the water really, really gets cold. So before I recap, we're gonna talk a little bit about what could happen if you ignore this problem. So oftentimes when that condensate drips, it drips either on wood floors, wood baseboard, it could, it could touch the drywall and the tank could be touching the drywall a little bit. And also if you have natural stone uh, underneath in your, in your flooring, um, it could uh, stain your natural uh, stone and you can't get rid of those. So, um, you know, we all know the health issues associated with mold, etc., and the water damage that can occur. So, you know, it's something that you probably don't want to ignore if that situation exists in your home today. So just to recap today, the four solutions are turn the fan on. You know, that's the biggest one right there. It's easiest. Just turn the fan on, get rid of that moisture. Um, open the window if weather permits, that will help as well. Wipe down the tiles uh, inside your shower after you're done showering. That gets rid of a lot of the moisture. And the uh, third would be uh, insulating the tank, um, you know, that drying it out, putting the insulation on. You can get those kits online. And the fourth one, that's something you might not want to try by yourself. Uh, we got the information down below if you're interested in that. Um, that's tempering the water. So that'd be bringing in warmer, cold water throughout your house. And that would you know, take care of all the toilets all in once. So until next time, I'm Kevin with Calca Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, conveniently located in Irvine, serving all of Orange County, residential, commercial, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning.